Hello and welcome to Third Act Film. Today we're going to try and guess who will be the big bad for Marvel Cinematic Universe's Phase 4, 5 and 6. Here with me is Todd James. Hello. And I'm James Forbes. Hello James. So let's begin. Okay. Uh, a couple of rules that I've gone with. I don't know if yes. you've done the same. Uh, I've only gone with bad guys who I think will realistically be able to be in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So no predominant X-Men villains or Fantastic Four villains. Oh, okay. So, no, so we're not going to try and jump the gun and say, oh, because Fantastic Four was so bad that they're Doctor going to... Doom, yeah. Now they're going to give up the rights. So we're not yeah, assuming that. Doctor Doom and Apocalypse and... All right, just edit my list. Gal- <laughs> Galactus <laughs> and stuff. So, yeah, yeah they're... they're <laughs> Some of them are slightly secondary choices. Yeah. Um, but the choice, my. All right, my. This is the one that I most would like to see, Norman Osborn. You love this guy. I do love this guy. Okay, go um, on. So. To take on all of the Avengers well, and all of the additional new Avengers, because they they're probably going to do more than one Avengers team by Phase 4, 5, and 6. West Coast Avengers. <laughs> yeah, they'll do, they'll do stuff like that. European Avengers. They might do, um, what's it, Al- Alpha... Alpha Flight? Alpha Flight, the Canadian team. The Canadian Avengers, eh? <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe. They won't. Yeah. But, yeah, but it's not... So, Norman Osborn is... Well, he is the Green Goblin, but it's not... The Green Goblin is, like, his old... That's, like, kind of old hat. It's, it's him <laughs> okay. as Norman Osborn, super rich businessman, yeah. You know, genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. Yeah. I just came up with that off the top of my head. Wow. I know, I'm great, aren't You're I? You're so interested. Um, and yet he, there is a run in the comics as well where he forms a team called the Dark Avengers. And that, <gasps> and he kind of has, I can't remember what all the of them guys? are off the top of my head. Yeah, they are the good guys. No, they are. <laughs> are so they it's, it's where he like poses as Iron Man. Yeah. And he gets a bunch of other bad guys to basically be pre- pretend or well not even pretend they are the Avengers yeah. in in the public's eye and it's basically his own task force of super beings to just do whatever he wants with the world and that culminates in one of my favourite Marvel stories Siege which is okay. where just to give like this is a super brief synopsis and this would be like the final final end of phase whatever yeah, um, yeah. where Thor having died is now alive again. Yeah. And he rebuilds Asgard as like a giant city in the middle of the uh, American desert. Okay. And in Siege, Norman Osborn and the Dark Avengers go- basically go and attack Asgard. Okay. Um, Asgard on Earth. Yes, Asgard on Earth. Against Asgardian? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so it's like legit fighting. Mm. Um. And I get that this isn't in scope. This isn't as big a story as, well, I'd say it's as big as um, Avengers and Age of Ultron. It won't be anywhere near as big as Infinity War, but what can be really? But yeah. it can be as big as that in dramatic scope, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if yeah. you like. Okay. Um, and yeah, he's so what he, he does have other people around him, but he's kind of the leader. I don't know if you could stretch it out for Phase Four, Five, and Six. Well, you could see. With the smaller films in between of the Avengers yeah. film, him recruiting yeah. such and such. We we touched on something similar in a previous video, link here, of right. one of our theories that perhaps... You better put a link there, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably forget. But <laughs> that uh, Thanos was in fact, uh, is going to release all of the previous villains that has featured in all of the Marvel films oh, so yeah. far from the Infinity Gems that have managed to destroy them. Yeah. And release them all in one and have this evil army. Of um, mm-hmm. all their biggest foes, and it's similar in that sense. Yeah, you could even have it as like a reverse Nick Fury situation, where yeah. Nick Fury kind of, you know, he spent phase, or ha- is still spending phase one, two, and three, like recruiting the Avengers. Yeah, and so have phase four. Five, you can have three. Norman at the end of the film. He's played by in. Samuel L. Jackson. He would white up for the role. Oh, he oh, could play both god. roles. Yeah. Oh my god. Um. Yeah. So anyway, that's my idea. Cool. Yeah. Cool. All right. What do you think? Yeah, it's right. I know I'd, you don't like it as much yeah. as I do. I know you love Norman Osborn. So yeah, he's, he's my buddy. Yeah. Me and um, Norman, we're like that. Uh, but all I can see is the Green Goblin just be like, ha 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 It's not just going to be like... again. 
that's going to be 15 films of the Green Goblin, like, <laughs> and he's, he's always like, in the background on his little skateboard, like flying skateboard thing he has, right? Just like, yeah. oh, he's got that's away exactly again. What I had in mind. I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for these pesky kids. Yeah, right. Anyway, okay, moving on. Okay, a lot of people can hate this. Okay, Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, stay with me. I'm, I'm one foot out the door already. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Having it now, I'm I'm not fully on board with this, but it came to me. Sounds quite interesting. Right. They have the Guardians, and they they never come to Earth until like say the sixth Avengers film. Okay. Yeah. So you so this is saying they don't turn up in Infinity War. That they don't turn up in Infinity War, which James Gunn has already said. Yeah. Although everyone is. He also him that said look. it was going to be a one-off that would never come to anything. Yeah. And now look. Yeah. Anyway, um, so assuming that they don't ever get the Guardians in, then we get to the sixth one, and this is like Guardians of the Galaxy have done four, maybe five films on their own, mm-hmm. and that they hear stories about the Avengers, but misinterpreted. So it would be like, oh, they destroyed New York. You know, these monsters destroyed. So Thanos is... You know, when he was like, fine, I'll do it myself. He's yeah. actually just spreading schoolyard rumors <laughs> <laughs> about the Avengers. Yeah. No, but like, perhaps there's this really nasty guy called Hawkeye. Yeah. But oh. like, like the stories get misinterpreted. And they're after, you know, like the Hulk is a monster. True. And he, he is if a If you had threat. a planet Hulk in there somewhere, yeah. they, that could easily be misconstrued as yeah. this guy just came here to our peaceful gladiatorial planet yeah. and just killed everyone. Yeah. yeah. And then that's come from Earth. There's all of these great beings all being spawned from Earth. And they're, you know, kind of having to be like, we're the guardians of the whole galaxy. And if you guys don't keep your shit together, we're going to have to end you. And That's that they come point. and, you know. They're guardians versus... of the galaxy. Yeah. Earth's part of the galaxy. It is, yeah. Well, this galaxy, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, that was my idea. So what's, what's your next one? Okay. So. This is kind of similar to what you said, ish. The Great Society, not the Justice League, the Great Society. <laughs> um, that now the Great Society are a superhero team, kind of invented to take the Mick out of the Justice League, but in a okay. recent, well, recent-ish run, uh, they're basically a superhero team from another version of Earth. Oh, okay, yeah. So the Marvel the Earth universe. we know is designated 616. Yeah. This one is designated and I've got this written down 4290001. Oh, oh, oh that one. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You're with me now. Yeah. Um and so they're like I said they're basically a team that were invented to sort of take the mick out of um the Justice League. Yeah. Um for example, their leader is called Sun God Zor An. <laughs> is his name. Wow. And he is like this all American cape wearing super flying guy. And yeah, they have a bunch of other members that all sort of take the mick out of, you know, the Flash and a bunch of other mm-hmm. members of the Justice League. Um and they they're also part of a story which the name of which escapes me now. But it's the um it was the uh, in the Marvel now the story with the Illuminati. Which in Marvel Comics, the Illuminati is all the sort of greatest minds of the universe, or not the universe of, of Earth. Earth yeah. yeah, and they come together, and we've got we've seen a lot of them already: Tony Stark, um, Black Panther, Doctor Strange. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we're gonna get Black Bolt, who can't talk. Yeah. <laughs> um, some obviously couldn't be there: Reed Richards and uh, Professor Xavier. Um. And yeah, they're j- and. My my biggest thing about this, not only is that a great run leading up to it that they could explore over multiple films, but in all the Avengers films we've had so far, it's been them smashing through Chitari or them smashing through Ultron robots. Yeah. Imagine just six on six, like robot wars. Yeah. Like get Jeremy Clarkson involved. Wow. <laughs> well no, don't get Jeremy Clarkson involved. Yeah. But um it would just be quite a different thing to witness again like with norman osborne probably couldn't make a three phase run out of it yeah but no 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 yeah it's interesting kind of having a marvel versus dc i don't really see yes d 
DC in the comic book world, they've copied from it, and Marvel have copied yeah. from each other a million times. I don't see that translating well for the movie industry. They were like, what? You, no, you're I doing mean, it, it, what? It was just like a casual... At man. <laughs> How <laughs> dare you? <laughs> Be man. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, well, I get you, I get you, yeah. No, yeah. Pretty cool, it's pretty cool. And, yeah. All okay. right. And, and something as well, when you said about the Inhumans, I was like, maybe I, I we said just... about the Inhumans? Yeah, you said about Black Bolt. Right, yeah. And I was just like, wait a second. You think about the release dates of Phase 3, yeah? The Inhuman. Are you thinking the same one I'm thinking? Oh, my God. The Inhumans <laughs> is after the Infinity War yeah. Part 2. So the whole universe has been destroyed, supposedly. You know, this is Thanos' fight for the universe, yeah? Right. Infinity War. This is a big deal, and then they're like, "Oh yeah," and then there's Inhumans afterwards. They were they were willing to push that after Part Two, which makes me think that's the setup for Part uh for Phase Four, Five, and Six. Perhaps their whole plan is the Inhumans being the kind of antagonist to the protagonist that, Avengers. Yeah, and they could have like they have Avengers, then Iron Man film, Thor film. They could have. Humans film, then yeah. like a Black Bolt film, a Medusa film. Yeah, and perhaps it wouldn't work quite as well. But there was also um, a few years ago, Avengers versus X Men. Yeah, and that because obviously that you can't have X Men. You could have like Avengers versus Inhumans. Yeah, and, and Inhumans be... has always been a replacement for X Men in the MCU. Yeah, and if um if you follow the TV series Agents of Shield, just they've... stop there. <laughs> no, oh. don't carry on. Go on. <laughs> there could be some good please, insight here. Please, someone watch it. Please, <laughs> if you watch it, let me know. <laughs> Um, like this video if you want Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh, we're going to get dislikes for that, mate. <laughs> uh. But, um, yeah, in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., uh, the way that they've done it is, obviously, Inhumans is a massive community of people, mm. and not everyone is good. They're not all, all yeah. on the same yeah, side. Yeah. And they've shown that in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., that they can be opposed to what the typical good guy of S.H.I.E.L.D. is trying to achieve, and will fight against it, and they're all super-powered. Uh, that would... Yeah, that could happen. Yeah. Maybe that's why. Because I've always thought that was a bit weird. Anyway, moving on. Okay. <laughs> so your this is your best suggestion. I'm, I'm is, ready for a super good suggestion. This isn't my now. best. Okay. I was you know, yeah, I wasn't going to put this one in. But I'm going to put this one in. Okay. <sighs> Kingpin? Question okay. mark? Yeah. How, hold on. Hold okay. on. Okay. If you've seen the, the Netflix series... Yeah. With Wilson Frisk and how Wilson Fisk. Fisk. Yeah. Frisk. Cheeky. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> My superpower is making sure you have nothing on you. <laughs> right. And you saw how he could get stuff done. Right. Um, there's many. I don't want to spoil that series for anyone who hasn't seen it. Right. And there's many points where you think, oh, he's gone. That's it. End of the. Oh, wait a second. It was all part of his plan anyway. Like a lot of those right. kind of things. I was thinking, what happens if they've done this similarly in the DC world with Lex Luthor, mm-hmm. with someone with such great intellect? What if Wilson Fr- Frisk, you Fisk, Wilson Fisk? Yeah, we don't say his name. Okay. Anyway, what okay. happens if <laughs> what happens if he became president? And um, what happens if he, with that same mentality that he had for Devil's Kitchen of where he's from? Mm-hmm. He's like, I've got to save Devil's Kitchen. I'm doing it by any means necessary. What if he does that for the world? What about after Infinity Wars, because of all the destruction, that Kingpin realizes that there's so much more to the tech. If 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 there's no Earth, then there's no Devil's Kitchen, and he has the resources and the means and the motivation, and becomes president with his political mm. yeah, movements, I mean- and then is against the Avengers and he is the main threat because he's turned the whole world against the Avengers and everyone is their enemy. Yeah, it, w- it would be quite a departure from the comics because, I mean, he's always just been like a street level. I mean, yeah. top of the street level. Yeah, yeah. But, but then even in the TV series, he was it was street level crime, mm-hmm. but he, was, he wasn't, you know, it wasn't drugs necessarily. It was he drugs. just wanted to, like, rule the city. Basically. Yeah. He was a child yeah. to be. But if you if he expanded his ambition a little bit more, he was president of America. So <laughs> remember that time I said Norman Osborne? Yeah. And you were like, No, not really. Yeah. Your Kingpin idea is quite
quite similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But without building a, a reverse Avengers team. <laughs> yeah, and more just right. using and without a man the world. just as a goblin. Yeah, right. and using the world's military to. But that was just that was my weaker idea. I've got I've still got two more ideas. You have. I've got zero more ideas. Okay. So, come on, fire them All at right. me. My next one is the Mandarin. The real Mandarin. The real Mandarin. Okay. Um, so those who saw Iron Man 3, you had Ben Kingsley pretend to be this character called Mandarin. Spoilers. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I've seen it. Okay. I'm pretty sure most people watching this have seen Iron Man 3. Yeah. Right. And probably disappointed with Iron Man 3, even though I, I didn't mind it. But Yeah. And then there's, if you get the DVD of, I think it was called The Dark World, or so, there was a DVD of yeah, some, some I don't other. know which one, it, but there was a one shot. And there's a a, a small about. little scene with All with, Hail the King. All Hail the King was the name with Ben Kingsley, and finding out that there is a real Mandarin who they based their research on, mm-hmm. and they just thought it was a myth of a person, and they used that, and that is yeah. actually a real Mandarin. There was in Ant Man, they've left another little clue that that storyline is going to be continued. One of the uh, bodyguards in a particular scene in Ant Man when they're yeah <laughs> when they're in Pym in- Industries so they're like in Pym Industries and uh they're sh- they get they've been the shown the yellow jacket yeah the bad guy yeah. suit in it and there's one of the security guards there for a, for Hydra mm-hmm. I believe he's got a tattoo on his neck of the ten rings which is harping back to Mandarin who has ten rings and he uses them a lot. <laughs> apparently yeah yeah uh so you got and it goes right back to the very first iron man yeah he when he gets captured it's you know the big logo behind them yeah. is the 10 rings yeah so, so perhaps they've already set this up as well like that the mandarin isn't just going to be kept exclusively for iron man and iron man if, if they do any more iron man films that he would be the big bad behind it all yeah uh because i Something w- which I've thought about with my suggestions, maybe not so much for the next one, but with my suggestions that after you go from Thanos, you know, this intergalactic... <laughs> yeah. Like... The mad titan. The mad titan. Of the universe. Like, this guy is yeah. crazy. He's going to potentially destroy all reality. We mm. don't know how far they're going to take it. I think you need to then go back to something smaller, and you need to... If you defeat You Thanos, only really can. You only really can, yeah. Because I did think, oh, you know, I know we couldn't, but like Galactus or... Or like Phoenix Force or something. Or like something that, yeah. huge, just outrageous. But yeah. I think what, what Thanos is gone, there's going to be a massive void of power. Yeah. And everyone's going to be struggling for it. And you're going to get smaller people, like possibly the Mandarin, getting a foot up. Mm-hmm. After the Avengers beat Thanos, they're like, oh, thank God. Good thing there's no one... Powerful on this planet. <laughs> what? What? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I definitely think, I mean, it's pretty obvious in all of our suggestions, but you can't really go up. Yeah, from Thanos. Thanos. Yeah. And also, if you do, that there isn't really a, like a physical conflict with anything above Thanos. Yeah. Like Galactus, there's never been like a fist fight with Galactus. <laughs> like, well, you know. have you seen Fantastic Four 2? Oh, you mean when Silver Surfer like flies in and like crouches down or something? <laughs> I, don't, I don't really remember. Yeah, but all right. Uh, yeah, I'd be game for that. They'd have to do. I think casual fans would have a lot uh, hard time following that. Yeah, it, like people who watch Iron Man three, because for me and you, we'd be like, oh yeah, yeah, the real Mandarin. The real Mandarin. Like, my mum would people. be like, I didn't even he? see Iron Man three. Yeah, Actually, well, that would make it easier. They could probably make it easier, but <laughs> yeah. if you have seen Iron Man three. Just in the sense, like, you know, it gets announced on the news. They're like, oh, I thought it was, it was that actor. No, that was a joke. What Never if well. they brought Ben Kingsley back to I play the real him. one? That would be... If they could and do that. And this was that. actually him pretending to be someone else was actually the real Mandarin pretending to be this guy. I don't think they should do that. Wait, because it... which? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they should do that. I think they should do, possibly, that the Mandarin has been alive for... And that's why he is a myth in this world. That he's been alive for ages because he uses hosts and that the sense that there's the essence of yeah. Mandarin you that can is link that into Doctor Kingdom. Strange and the Ancient One and stuff like that yeah. as well. that would be pretty cool or, or possibly with the Soul Gem they yeah. might accidentally yeah. pass on Mandarin yeah yeah 
But anyway, yeah. my final, you final, really final one. You really sold me on that, by the way. I, just, yeah? I, I was a bit like eye rolling at the start, but you actually really sold me. Yeah, because again, you've got with the Infinity War, you had the whole gems. Oh, we got to catch them. Oh, <laughs> Pokemon. Uh, now you've got the rings. Pokemon reference. Yeah. Now you've got the rings. <laughs> there's 10 of them. So that's <laughs> 10. And there's there's only going to be more <laughs> films, aren't there, between each um, major Avengers film. Yeah. I think three a year is the most they'll ever be. Yeah, three a year. But yeah. that's still more than... Like, how many was this year? Two. Two sort of In- MCU ones, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think they could do three a year. And then... Yeah. Now, the final one... Okay. Is... Uh, you alluded to it earlier. Right. Planet Hulk. Doing... Okay. Doing a Planet Hulk slash World War Hulk storyline between Avengers... Four, five, and six, and having it that I don't know. Perhaps in four, in Avengers four, he gets given the boot by the end. So all right, off right. you go. See like a banner. Has a Planet Hulk film comes back for number five. Has all out war, loses, and then has another even bigger war with more support from other people. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah, yeah. and you know, um, right. I don't know how to say this word, <laughs> but clue. Or cl, or something, and that is when the Hulk. Yeah. The what the Hulk is to Bruce Banner, Clue is to the Hulk. No. Yeah, it's a real thing. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That just blew and, and he, my and he mind. Like, <laughs> and it's like uh, it's an. Um, what does the Hulk have to feel to get to him? Like it's sad. A very somber. <laughs> <laughs> when he feels morose. <laughs> <laughs> he feels like, like really specific feelings. <laughs> It's like, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, and he's like, even bigger, he's like this black, this giant black thing with like a yeah. mohawk, and he's got like glowing red lines and stuff. That's awesome. And if he came back, and he was like, yeah. and like hulked out again. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. That could be. A lot of people, I think it would lose a lot of people. They'd be like, this is ridiculous. The Hulk. They were first Hulk. John Carter from Hulk. Yeah. And then Clue, or Clue. Yeah. I don't know. It's K L U H. That's not a word. Clear. 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 But yeah. That, I mean, I think me and you might be alone in the cinema, like, yeah, this is great. I, uh, I can't imagine the scene of the Hulk hulking out. People lose yeah. their mind, I feel. I, would, wish, I, would you, I wish you knew what I was talking about because it, it is like ridiculous but also really cool. The, the, just that concept alone, the Hulk hulking out. How mad must you make him? Perhaps, you yeah. know, he goes down there, he's got his kids. I know he has kids later on. Yeah. And he goes down there with his whole family. They're like, oh, we're going to take Earth for ourselves. And then, don't make me morose. <laughs> <laughs> you won't like me. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the yeah. same twang, was it, though? Uh, yeah, so that, that was it. That was my suggestion. Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy, King Ping, Mandarin, Planet Hulk, Norman Osborn, and the Justice... No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the society, the, the great society, and also in humans, kind of, and in humans, kind of, well, that's we got we got through quite a lot, didn't yeah. we? Considering I started with two suggestions, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Anyway, well, if you guys have any suggestions or want to just call us idiots, yeah, probably that last one. Yeah, uh, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for listening. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye. Bye. better way to motivate Nick Fury to do something than to tell him not to do something. Um, I did watch that trailer for Utter Trash. Yeah, <laughs> Utter Trash is a really good way to put it. I think, yeah, that's probably going to be the biggest one of the year. 